your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Extreme Makeover. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber guys all right so welcome back to another customization video so today we're going to be customizing this overt kill figure now i'm gonna be real with you guys i kind of like him i mean i kind of like him as is he's gonna there's gonna be a few touch-ups but i'm kind of gonna do my own thing add my own touch uh to this guy uh, I'm not going to make him so much like this because I don't want an exact replica of Overkill. I feel like he's got his own thing going on. As far as this green right here, I don't really care for this green. Um, but I don't hate it. But I am going to add some darker green to this. I'm not going to completely paint this. I'm just actually going to be doing some dry brushing and just adding some dark green over this lime green right here that you see in front of you. Um, cause I actually do like this green. I just feel like it just needs some darker green on it. And that's about it. The silver. So, uh, not so much. I'm not really going to touch, uh, to me, it looks fine. Uh, of course, you know, I'm going to do his diaper. I'm going to use some gold, uh, for his belt. And then for this piece, these pieces right here on his chest, as far as the rest of his body, I got some darker Brown cause I want to highlight some of his attributes right here his abs and stuff possibly his head his head doesn't look too bad but i'll add some brown to it so mostly what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some like dry brushing over this figure i'm not really going to paint him just going to add some dry brushing so uh, one of you guys asked me hey dickhead how do you you what do you use and really you know i use acrylic paint this is craft smart you can buy this at uh walmart or wherever wherever convenient you know paint is sold uh you can i usually would use like acrylics uh the rubberized like tubes actually this right here this is the good stuff that you can use basics this is a little bit more expensive but what i'm going to do is essentially i have this uv resistant clear that i spray into the paint um, so therefore, instead of like making them shiny, which I probably could, I can make the, these parts shiny, which I probably will go over. Blending this with the paint will actually make the paint permanent. It will actually stay on there. So it won't rub off. For an example, <laughs> why not? Let's start the process. I'll show you. So we're going to put a little bit of paint on my palette, like so. And this is not high quality paint, so that's why... I'm using this gloss right here. So essentially what I'm going to do is just spray it. There's there's many different techniques that you guys can use, but I'm just using my own little technique right here. And don't inhale these fumes because you'll fucking die. Um, and then what I'm going to do, mix it up a little bit right there. I'm using the DC cardboard piece right here and wipe it off and just kind of go over it i'm not going to show you the entire process but i'm just going to give you a gist of what the hell i'm doing just kind of going over it like so not really completing not really painting it just adding some of my own personal touches to this figure so this way I don't have to really completely paint it. I'm just adding my own touch to this piece, which makes it an easier process as well. And it kind of gives it like a worn look as well. And there you go, as simple as that, bro. That's how, that's how simple it took. 
That's how long it took just to do that one piece. So that when that dries, it's going to look really, really awesome. And you can see it still has some of that green in there. I'm not going to touch it up. And I'm going to do that with the, the rest of his body. As you can see, the difference right there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue the process. We'll jump forward and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys, so here's the finished product. Um, like I said, you can pretty much use your... Any, type, any kind of green you want to. I mean, I could have used the metallic green, but I didn't really want to use metallic green because I didn't really want it to look like this overkill right here. Um, so I just kind of used like a darker like grass green. And when this dries, it's going to blend in with the lime green. It's definitely a better color um, than the lime green that you saw. Um, so yeah, it look, definitely looks way better. It's still drying at the moment. But this probably this process probably took me not even seven minutes to do. Um, so next up, we're gonna focus on the gold right here. <clears throat> Get the gold going, and a little bit of the spray. Like I said, don't do this in an enclosed area. Try to do this outside if you're using the UV resistant clear spray. So let's go ahead and work on the gold, guys. Uh, make sure to clean your brush if you don't want any of the green on there. And then well, we'll start our gold process. <laughs> okay, guys, so we got the gold on there. So now what we're going to do is add a little bit of brown onto him just to give him a little bit of detailing. Shake that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of blend it with the gold. So this way he'll have like some gold in his skin. That'll make his skin like really shimmer. So I mixed it with the gold right there, as you guys can see. Right there. And I want to get off as much of this paint as I can. So I want to wipe it off on the board. And because we're just going to be doing a simple, like, dry brushing of his skin. So. Like that. And that might be a little bit too much. Just to just to highlight some of his the attributes of his skin, like so. Get his abdomen in there. Get that in there. His chesticles. We gotta make it blend to make it sure it's even. Like so. And then I'll show you guys the final product. So right now we are working on his back and we're just doing like a, a brown dry brush over his back. Like so, not putting too much paint on his back. Cause his back does have some really good detailing we're just adding some brown over his back just to make it seem like more uh, realistic skin tone. We're gonna do the top of his head as well, the side of his head. Make sure we get the sides right here, the crevices, the holes, the divots in his back. So there's his back, we'll go around to his front. So this is a little bit darker over here, so what I wanna do is just add a little bit more brown to even out his muscle attributes on this side to make it even. See what I mean? But I'm gonna add some more brown right here. There we go. And then some on his, on his chest. And then around his mechanical parts up here. Then we wanna get in the crevices like so. Then we'll do his head, dry brush his head, add some color around his neck area. And one thing I'm thinking about doing, guys, I like the silver parts right here. So I'm thinking about maybe adding some red around there, like there's like blood pulsating from there because it's attached to his skin. So I'm thinking about maybe using some red for that. So we'll see. Um, 
in a moment, but he's turning out really, really well. Um, and I just kind of want to add my own touch, you know, to this overkill figure. Get into his chest area. Spread that out into his bottom. Down there. And his chest over here. Okay, guys. Uh, let's continue dry brushing him. And then I'll show you guys the finished product afterwards. Okay, guys. So here's the finished product. Not quite. Uh, now I'm going to use some of the metallic silver. And I'm actually going to highlight some of this green. So I'm going to add some silver to this green. Possibly I might add some silver to these mechanical parts. We'll see how it looks at first. Uh, just to highlight some of the silver parts. Um, and then especially around his uh, back area as well. So I'm kind of going to go over his entire, somewhat of his, his entire body. Minus the skin with some silver metallic paint. So we'll do that and I'll show you the final product. Okay guys, so I'm going over this with the silver right here just to give it some shine and some metallic uh, parts to the green right there. Highlighting that right there. Already did this side. Now I got to do the diaper and then the legs. Okay guys, so we finished. Uh, this is the final product right here. So I went over the dark green with some silver. Uh, as you guys can see there, right there, it's still drying as we speak. Also went over it with some silver for the mechanical parts. I'll go in close and I'll show you guys the detail. So there is that right there. I left you know, some of the lime green is still seeping through, as you guys can see. Um, and then I covered it up with the, gar the dark green and then I added some silver to that right there. There's the mechanical parts. I added some of the silver onto the mechanical parts too to make it a little bit more shinier uh, the front piece as you guys can see his chesticles I detailed his chest gave him a little bit more of a tan um, to highlight his muscular attributes right there even added some gold for his mechanical parts the gold for his belt uh, the silver for his diaper the green I, I painted for his diaper there's the head sculpt really didn't touch much with the head sculpt other than just a few you know brown here and there kind of left the head as is there's the side right there just added some more silver to the mechanical parts there's his back right there just added some you know to make it seem more fleshy to give him more of a skin tone you can see it kind of glistening because of the uv uh resistant uh spray that i used um right there Resistant clear acrylic coating. It protects it. Protects against harmful UV rays, non-yellowing permanent coating, moisture resistant coating, dries in minutes. So yeah, when you blend this with the paint, it dries in minutes. And then I use some of the silver for the mechanical parts. There is his back right there. There's the diaper. There is, let me lift this up. There's the back right there. There's the other side. So I really didn't hate the lime green. I just wanted a darker green on it. And then I wanted to add some silver highlights to high, pretty much highlight some of the mechanical parts. You know, like the, the silver is kind of uh, washing away the green, you know, maybe because of the heat, you know, um, is washing away the green paint. You know, it's fading the green paint. You can see some of the silver parts of the green you know, seeping through. Um, here is the bottom right here. I painted, I even painted that gold. There's the green and then the silver, just dry brush silver over the green. Uh, added some silver onto his mechanical tidbits right there, his legs. And in my opinion, I think he looks a hundred times better. You know, it's amazing what, what a wash can do, guys. Uh, just adding a wash to this figure just, highlight, just highlights it, man. It probably took me a minimum of 20, maybe 25 minutes just to do this simple customization just to make him look 10 times better. You know, I think this guy right now is a 9. Um, he's way, he looks way better than what he did before. Um, 
and yeah that's all you have to really do man it's just highlight some of his attributes that mcfarland missed and then there you guys have it looking pretty damn good if i say so myself uh, let's do some comparison so like i said i didn't want to make him look like this guy because i didn't want an exact replica of this overkill but this guy this guy's give you this gives you an idea right here um and yeah he looks in my opinion he looks just as good i think he's a great figure bro i definitely suggest picking this uh figure up um detailing him yourself to your own liking he's definitely worth a pickup if you guys are spawn fans if you guys love overkill uh then this guy is an automatic pickup in my opinion uh just a few date detailing here and there and he looks fucking awesome brand new his parts still move the paint being that i just pretty much did a dry wash over him he still works he still looks he see he looks 100 times better in my opinion all right guys so hopefully this gave you guys some ideas let me know your thoughts in the comments section i just want to thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts all right Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.